Hey, Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm Crystal. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? We're going to do a love reading. We're going to find out how your person feels about you, their true intentions, what you want, what they want. Um, you know, if this could be successful and other things. You have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you may be um, spending time with them or going on a vacation with them soon. Or maybe with the honeymoon card, they may be arriving, like coming to you. You have finances and career. So somebody may be really focused on their career at the moment or in the past. And this could have been the reason why they were, um, you know, if this was pushed back, this could be the reason why that was happening because somebody was very focused on their future. So let's see, how do they feel about you? The Wheel of Fortune. The Temperance card. They consider you very healing. They do feel like you're somebody who's destined, who they're destined to be with. With the Honeymoon card, they may be able to see like um, themselves being married with you. <laughs> Does it even marry to you? I don't know why I can't talk. But you have the Six of Swords. They also may have seen that you moved on or disconnected or pulled your energy away from them. With the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords, you guys could have left and moved on and now you're in another relationship. So how they feel about you with the Ace of Wands, very attracted to you, very much like, you know, feeling like they're supposed to be with you with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this person may be letting the universe handle this with the temperance card and the wheel of fortune. It's kind of like they're just going with the flow and allowing the spirit to kind of bring this to them while they're focused on themselves, while they're focused on their career. You too as well. So what are their two intentions? Three of swords, the king of cups. This person could have caused a lot of heartbreak. They're definitely heartbroken over the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. The middle is the Three of Swords. Literally, this could be your divine counterpart. This could be the person you're going to marry. This could be the person you end up with, you know, for the rest of your life. But with the Three of Swords, there's like a third party. Okay, let's clarify this third party. This could be family. This could be the way somebody thinks. This could be people, places, and things. Third parties or anything that's in the way of whatever it is that you're trying to get. And we're talking about love. So there could definitely be another person. You have the empress, okay? Your person may be like pregnant um, or having a baby or has children, okay? They may have like motherly, fatherly duties, right? And this could be the thing that's preventing them from moving forward. The Eight of Pentacles, though, but with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups and the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, for their true intentions, is to work together and try to create something together with you, with love and understanding, and, like, this person is just trying to go with the flow. What are they doing about this third party? You got the Judgment card and the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a marriage. This could be, like I said, this person, it could be their family. It could be their friends. You have the Four of Wands. The Nine of Wands. This person, whoever they're with, your person, whoever they're with in the third party, this could also be you. This could be very well a marriage, a long-term marriage, somebody that they've been with for a long time. I don't see it as being, you know, I feel it could be good, but I feel like at the same time with the Nine of Wands, there's a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. I feel like this person always has you in the back of their mind. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you guys have this strong bond. They're always reminiscing of you. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, in the world. So their true intentions are to be with you. They know it's faded, but with the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Judgment card, they have to make a, a major decision here, and this decision um, may hurt a lot. So this is the reason why they are just, how long will this take? The Emperor in reverse. When this person works up the courage, when they actually, actually follow through with their plans, okay, with the Empress in re you have the Empress and the Emperor in reverse. 
when this person stops giving to their third party, when they stop listening to the third party, when they stop, you know, they may have kids, you know, and if they're waiting for their kids to grow up or something, it's like something like this. It's like they're waiting for something to where it's like they don't have to be so responsible. I feel like they're, they're in a lot of... Uh, Day of Cups, like I said, this person needs to walk away, but they're kind of not. Not really doing anything at the moment. Eight of Cups, the Death card. They are disconnected from their emotions with this person because you have the Emperor in reverse. It feels like they, they have lost their power, okay, in this third party situation with the Death card. They're going through a major transformation, okay? This is like Corbelis, um, a death of an ego, a death of... Uh, long-term situation and a major change towards something that's better, right? And it's like, that's what they're doing. The Eight of Cups, they're walking their spiritual path. I don't know if this person is completely ready. Yeah, you have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. They may keep on getting pulled back in because the other person makes them feel bad, okay? But I feel like this person wants to come rushing towards you. Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, yeah. It's like if they walk away, from, it's like they're already like mentally disconnected, emotionally disconnected from the third party. But it's like there's still that loss, okay? There's still that responsibility. Um, and you know where I was saying finances and career with the Five of Pentacles? It's like this person may be trying to save up money or having some financial struggles to where they can't just walk away. You know, if they're paying bills and paying the rent there and all that shit, in a house with a third party, um, how much could you really save up, right? They're really focused on their career at the moment on, and their finances, so this way they can get themselves out of what it is that they're going through. The Knight of Cups. So this is what do you want? An apology, an offer, an answer, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you want somebody that you can invest your time with. Page of Wands, somebody that's willing to kind of like, you want somebody who's optimistic about the future. You want somebody who takes action, right? You want somebody to explore the world with or explore love or life with, right? You want somebody who is, you know, not holding on to the past. The Five of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, it's like, I feel like you've dealt with a lot of, like, people who are back and forth or unsure or caused a lot of hurt or a lot of damage because of things that they suffered from, okay, and brought it into the relationship. I feel like you don't want anybody with past baggage, right? You want somebody fresh. You want somebody who is welcoming love, open to love, right? The Queen of Swords, you want somebody who's honest, somebody who has good communication. You want somebody who knows what the hell they want. Right? None of that back and forth shit. You have the two of cups and you want somebody who's reliable, somebody who's um, your other half or at least does what they're supposed to do in the relationship. Like not somebody who's just there because they're there. Somebody that actually like does the work like half and half, right? Or a hundred, a hundred because nobody wants 50%, right? And with the Eight of Swords, you don't want somebody who's going to drive you crazy, leave you guessing, you know, stressing you out. I feel like you just want open, honest communication, love, you know, understanding to be expected, right? So what do they want? The Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to try to work this out. This is the second time that the Eight of Pentacles came out. But the thing is, with the Five of Swords, there's competition. The Six of Pentacles, they're helping... They're doing too much on one side and they're not doing enough on another, okay? So it's like this person's back and forth, but in the middle, the most important card is the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this, but with the Two of Swords clarifying that they're unsure of how to do it. Why? The Star card, they need more healing. They need things to be more aligned in their life. Things need to end. Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Sorry, the Five of Cups. You keep on getting this third party thing and then this sadness. Like, I do not feel like it's going to be easy for your person to walk away from the third party, especially if they have kids or animals or a home together, you know, or they're struggling financially. I do see this person trying to put shit together, trying to put things in their life to where it's like it needs to be. Like, they're making plans. But with the emperor, like I seen in reverse earlier, it's like this person's afraid to stand into their power.
Let's see. What is keeping this apart? Six of Wands. They might like to get a lot of attention. They may have been somebody who just liked to feel free and didn't want to be in a relationship. What's keeping you apart? The Lover's card. I'm telling you, there's a third party. There could be somebody that they love. Friends, family, lovers, children, whatever this is. That's what's keeping you guys apart. It could also be somebody needs to express their love. Look, the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Wands in reverse. This person won't make up their mind. That's why it's like what holding you guys apart is that they're not making up their mind. If you're talking to this person why they're married, while they're married, this may be driving you crazy because this person is not giving you an honest answer, right? So what is going to pull you guys? What brings you guys two together? The hangman. You guys may both be stuck in something and you guys both may be like helping each other through an awakening, helping each other through an ending of something. Eight of Pentacles again. I feel like you guys have the same goals in life. Maybe you work together. Here, and this could be your boss. The sun. The full in reverse. So there's something, it's like you guys really haven't fully jumped in. So what's like, keep bringing you guys together is like, this internal pool, okay? It's like somebody could have walked away too and it's like the other person can't let go, right? And it's like with the full and reverse, what's bringing you guys together is this spiritual connection that you guys have, this energy, energetic, sorry, connection that you guys share. Um, and it's like you guys bring each other happiness. You guys feel comfortable with each other. I feel like you guys have same goals for the future, or same ideas for the future. And I do feel like you guys were there helping each other through a tough ending, okay? But what's keeping you apart, I asked again, the world and the five of pentacles. Somebody's fighting an ending. So until somebody lets this one thing go, whatever this is, this could just be change in the relationship. As soon as somebody lets this go, this is when things are going to start taking off. So what's the future of this connection? The Ten of Wands in reverse, so it's it's going to start feeling a little bit more easier. Like, you're, with the Ten of Wands upright, it's like having a burden on your back, carrying a lot of weight. So, for this being in reverse, I feel like this is going, in the future, it's going to feel like a weight is lifted off your shoulders in whatever way. The Eight of Wands, things picking up pace. The Ace of Cups in reverse. We're going to find out why. The Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups. Okay, so I don't know if this person's going to make a choice and they're going to make a choice too late to where it's like you already moved on and you may tell this person like no, because I feel like this is true love, right? But I feel like you are moving on and it's like you're calling in your soulmate and there may be a new person coming in for you because this person is stuck. This person's a little bit chicken shit and it's like they're not trying to walk away with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This could be the reason why this weight is lifted off your shoulders because you finally let it go and you move on, right? And you may turn down this person's offer and for some of you guys it's going to feel really bad but for some of you guys it's going to also feel really good because then you're going to feel more in your power with the two of wands and the two of cups i feel like you guys already know that this is a good decision because the page of cups it's like this person may paint, paint dreams to you or give you broken promises right and it's like i feel like you guys know deep down inside it's just like something that's never going to go anywhere so at least not now i feel like there's some time here that you guys are going to have to wait with the page of cups it's like an illusion you know when pigs fly right it's the timing The Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys may realize that this may be something that takes a very long time. Literally, the Six of Swords. Because this person, it's like they're disconnected from their feelings. They're trying to block things out. 
like the stuff that they have to do, like leaving a situation behind, leaving a marriage or whatever this is. They are holding on. Okay. There's a lot of fear there. There's a lot of worry there. And I feel like you guys, you guys got three twos, two of swords, two of cups, two of pentacles. Sorry, two of wands, two of cups, two of pentacles. The one that you don't have is the two of swords. And the two of swords is the blindfold. So y'all could see exactly what it is that you need to do. You have a clear vision, right? Blindfolds off. So it's telling me, that's telling me that you guys are moving forward. And when this person comes through, you may reject their offer because I feel like you're calling in your soulmate. And it's like, you may be meeting like a true love, somebody else that's better. Who's this new person? The Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. This could be somebody from your past that you've been holding on to for a very long time. Okay, somebody that you hold very close and near and dear to your heart. This could be a childhood sweetheart. This could be a past life soulmate. Okay, um, you have the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. This could be something that you thought was long, long gone. Okay, this could even be like a, a crush that you had. When you were a child or when you were younger with the knight of swords and the queen of swords this could be something that happens fast okay anyway that's what i got for you guys if it resonates please like and subscribe and have a good day toodles